going on you guys? I'm Devin G. Welcome or welcome back to the God Dang On channel. So of course before I get started, I gotta thank you guys so much for clicking, for clicking on this video, man. Because you didn't have to and you did, so your boy, I hope I'm your boy. I'm extremely grateful, man. So today, <laughs> roll the intro. So you guys, I heard about this movie a long time ago, man. I heard it's pretty damn disgusting. I just ate lunch and that consisted of like some black beans, some rice, and some chicken. And considering I'm about to watch a movie that I heard where people eat brains, I don't know if that's a good idea, man. Not saying that I got a weak stomach, but to watch somebody intentionally eat brains or do cannibalism, I don't know if I can handle that shit, man. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. But if you don't, no pressure. It's all good. Just smash the thumbs up. Also, if you guys really, really like my crazy ass self, feel free to check out my Patreon on there. You get to see stuff way, way, way before it come out on YouTube. Plus, a whole lot of other stuff that I don't post on the channel. So, without further ado, let's just get to the reaction. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Oh, um, that ain't that black dude, is it? That was a dude that uh, played in Gladiator. I I'm probably wrong, but I suck with names. Oh, I'm sorry about the background, y'all. I'm in transition, so please forgive me. She training, training, huh? You know something? That shit probably don't seem hard, but when you're already tired and you're pulling yourself up and you're trying to climb, dog, in mud, in mud bro, uphill, that shit tough. It looks like she's just doing this training because she want to stay fit, which I respect that, boy. I'm sure this is like military grounds, but still, by yourself, things happen anywhere. Crawford wants to see you in his office. Thank you, sir. Gotta be important. Stop your ass doing training or PT. It gotta be important. Hurt, agony, pain. Love it. See, embrace the pain. I bet there's way more men that do what she do than women. You looking for Crawford? Yes, sir. Well, he should be back in a couple minutes. Why don't you wait in his office? Okay. What the problem is... Oh wow. With his unsolved cases on the damn. Are they skinned? Bill skins fit. What the fuck you skinning? He's skinning people. Starlight. Clarice in. Good morning. Sorry to pull you off the course at such short notice. Your instructors tell me you're doing well. Top quarter of your class. I hope so. Boy, yeah. that would not sit well with me. Look at that shit all day. Skin victims and stuff? Not a job, really. More of an interesting errand. Sit down. I remember you from my seminar at UVA. <laughs> you grilled me pretty hard, as I recall, in the Bureau of Civil Rights record in the Hoover years. I gave you an A. Hmm. A minus, sir. Say respectfully. It says here, when you graduate, you want to come to work for me in behavioral science. Also, she's an academy. Very much, sir. Very much. Okay. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psychobehavioral profile. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. Boy, she actually cute. I want you to go after me. I didn't think she was that damn cute. She was cute when she was younger. The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. He was a psychiatrist? I don't expect him to talk to you, but I have to be able to say we tried. Is he sketching, drawing? If he is, what's he sketching? Uh, so they're using him to catch another killer because they know how he think. And killers know how killers think. Gotcha. Copy of our questionnaire and a special ID for you. Ain't no damn way I could talk to a killer all damn day. Excuse me, sir, but... I cannot do Why that. the urgency? Lecter's been in prison for so many years now. Is there some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? I wish there were. I want your full attention, Starling. Why? Why the interview yes, though? That's my Be question. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. Do not deviate from them for any reason whatsoever. And you're to tell him nothing personal, Starling. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Whoo! Ain't no way. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. Ain't no way. What is that? Oh, he's a monster. Fuck that. Pure psychopath. Uh-uh. So rare to capture one alive. Lecter is our most prized asset. Oh, he's a psychiatrist and then he's a, he's a cannibal? You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one as attractive. Bro, get your ass on. You tell me about a damn a psychotic ass killer I'm attractive. This can be quite a fun town if you have the right guy. He's strange as fuck. I'm sure this is a great town, Dr. Chilton. My instructions are to 
Talk to Dr. Lecter and report back this afternoon. I bet he touched on his uh, his clients. I wouldn't have put it past people like him. We've tried he's to like a creeper. Him, of course, but he's much too sophisticated for the standard tests. Thinks I'm his nemesis. Crawford's very clever, isn't he, using you? Like he get turned on by his job. Sir? Pretty young woman to turn him on. Oh, are you ever his taste? Dude, Dude say professional. Good, then you should be able to remember the Shit. rules. Do not touch the glass. Do not approach the glass. You pass in nothing but soft paper. No pencils or pens. Use the sliding food carrier. No exceptions. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. Do you understand me? Say do shit, but stand back and talk. That's it. On the afternoon of July 8, 1981, okay, he details. chest pains and was taken to the dispensary. His mouthpiece and restraints were removed for an EKG. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. What'd he do? The doctors managed to reset her jaw, more or less. Save one of her eyes. His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. Oh my god! He said ate her tongue. Ain't no damn way. Myself. What do you think? Get the fuck out of here. Mm-mm. Yes, sir. And I Look, Haley wanna be down there. That's the pleasure of your company, sir. Oh we sit on to his ass. Nothing about you. You mess around getting your head open with. Intelligent and a killer? Damn, boy. They like they over with. They hate their job. He told you don't get near the glass. Yes, he did, Clarice Starling. Nice to meet you, Clarice. You can hang your coat up there if you like. He said don't go through the glass. He's past the other. He can't go through the glass, but don't even touch the glass. They like they like the ass in there. Fuck that. I'll pass. I'll be watching. You'll be fine. They lock a gate, close that gate, they unlock another gate. Oh my god. You know what's crazy is that this shit is actually real. There are people like this in real life. Who else made your guts? So I guess this is all, um, all cannibals. So he's the most dangerous out of all of them. Morning. I guess because of his Dr. intelligence. Doctor, my name is Clarice Starling. May I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Certainly. You know who the fuck I am, bro. I wouldn't have got back here if I wouldn't have proved. Closer. Bruh, you see it. You got good eyesight. You didn't eat eyes before. That expires in one week. You're not real FBI, are you? Oh, wait. I'm still in training at the academy. Too much information. Right there? And a trainee. Shh. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Not your business. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. That is rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. He's silly. He eat people. Sit, please. Now then, Fool. tell me. What did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? I can smell your guts. He said, I can smell your cunt. Oh, your cunt? What is that, guts? You use up your skin cream. Sometimes you wear a lead at all. How the hell he know all this shit by smelling? Like it smells a king. Did you do all these drawings, Doctor? Ah. I guess when you don't smell anything besides walls, you can pick up on the slightest stuff, slightest sense. All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Well, perhaps you'd care to she send us your view on this questionnaire. Super nervous. Look at it, boy. That nervous laugh. You were doing fine. You had been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You had established trust with the embarrassing truth about Migs. Ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. I'm only asking you to look at So we gotta talk. You will or you won't. Have an actual conversation, brother. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he is recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. How do you even know about him? Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? Because he's there. How the fuck you know this stuff? The newspapers won't say. Oh, they get the paper. Well, it started as a That's bad joke why. in Kansas City homicide. And they said, this one likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? Throw me with your acumen. Because he's fucking weird. It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. Wow. Wow. You send that through now. It ate everything. Don't you do it. Fuck that. Get your own copy. Watch him, girl. Look, hit his ass through glass. And you steal a frame. What can he do? Just his reputation. Hmm. Oh, Agent Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? <laughs> no, I, I, I thought that your knowledge... Yes. Mm -mm. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? Say, your cheap shoes. A well-scrubbed hustling robe. A 
with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash. Wow! And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. Is your father to you? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? No, how quickly the boys found you. Look, he's so goddamn little smart, you can't even insult me, right? I'm be real with you, I'm even being salted. He's too smart for me. You see a lot, doctor. I understand that, boy. <laughs> But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? Are you heard of Phyllis? Why don't you, why don't you look at yourself and write down what you see? <laughs> so she, he said something. He touched some boy. So that shit personal. Get the fuck out. Oh wait. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. He bragging about it. He bragging about eating people like it's like eating a pork chop. That's a human liver, bro. Get your ass out of here. Uh, I have to fuck you. My wrist. Look at the blood. Oh! Oh my God! He jacked off and threw the semen in her face. How would that have had that happen to you? This courtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Then do this test for me. Look, she went straight to his damn cell too. He's the only sane one. Not really sane though. The sanest one. Look deep within yourself, Terry Starling. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. Go now! I run. I would fucking run. That boy. Boom. That's crazy. She traumatized on the first day. She was there for maybe what? An hour max? Yeah, girl. You agree to do this crazy ass shit? Mm, mm, mm. So she's going to see an old patient of his. He got her thinking already. Daddy. On the first meet. He got no damn head. I don't know how this shit gonna affect her. I don't know if she cut out for this job, her boy. <laughs> we had a few sips of that ass. Stay. Hands up. Don't move. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Thumbs up. Who? You're dead, Starling. Damn, didn't check your corners, huh? Starling, where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check the corner? Nope. No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. Boy, I got a head messed up, boy. Already. Baltimore psychology. Damn. I wonder what happened. What made him go crazy? You go from being a, a, a well-known psychiatrist to eating people? Starling? That makes sense. Miggs is dead. Dad? How? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Miggs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. What? Starling? Yeah, I'm... Get the hell out of here. I don't know how to feel about this. He made somebody kill himself? Feel any way about it. Lecter did it to amuse himself. Get the fuck out of here. You mentioned a name at the end. Uh, Moffat. Any follow up on her? Uh, oh my god. Well, Wait, the boy his own tone. destroyed most of his patients' histories prior to capture, so there's no record of anyone named Moffat. But I thought the yourself reference was uh, too hokey for Lecter, so I figured he's from Baltimore. And I looked in the phone book, and there's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. She's smart. So she listened to certain things, certain keys to do research on it. I would have caught that. I thought he was just talking shit to her. It's a contract. This is the name of a Miss Hester Moffat. So nobody's been in here since 1980? Not to my knowledge. Privacy is a great concern to my customers. I'll be out of here before you know it. Been, it ain't been opened up since 1980? Well, I guess as long as they paint it, they would have no reason to look at it. Could I return tomorrow with my son? What about him? I would ask my driver to help you, huh. but he detests physical labor. He said, hell no. I get paid to drive. <laughs> I don't blame him either. I don't get paid to lift up garages. Got a crowbar or something? What she got? Oh, a jack. Smart. Old ass jack with an old ass garage. I'm not chancing you. You missed to get your ass left in there. Hey, yo, if you enjoy my reaction, show me some love, man. Smash that thumbs up! Stuck. Shit. I ain't doing it. If this door should fall down or... Uh, call this number. This is the number for our Baltimore field office. Now they know that you're with me. Okay. I'll call them if anything should happen. Yes, Miss... Right. Sure, he, he can skip out, boy, and I say shit. Mm -mm. Now you cut. Technus, is this, um, Hannibal Lecter storage? Or something that's leading up to him. One of his patients or something. Car? 
If this is Hannibal's stuff, you would have think they would have confiscated all of this stuff after they arrested him and used it as evidence. What's that, a uh, Ro old Rolls Royce, huh? Probably in mint condition. What the, I'm about to say, what the fuck? That's still strange. Why do you have mannequins in there? <gasps> oh, shit. Did it just close? Oh my gosh. Why is he preserving a head? That's what I mean by confiscating his stuff. They done found that shit years ago. If that's his stuff. Esther Moffat, the rest of me. Miss the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? <gasps> she closes here to the damn glass. What is that? Mm -mm. I'm not putting my hand in that. What if you pull it back real fast? A dry towel, because you're wet. Thank you. You're bleeding as that. I smell it. It's just a scratch. Dr. Lecter, whose head is in that bottle? Huh. Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill? Well, do you know something about him? I might if I saw the case file. <laughs> oh, we get that for me. Why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? You wanted me to find him. His real name is Benjamin Raspell. How about the mind game? A former you know. patient of mine whose romantic attachments ran to, shall we say, the exotic. What? If you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? Who can say? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. Damn! Uh, Says it's better that he got beheaded. Raspo was a transvestite? In life? Oh no. Garden variety manic depressive. No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer's first effort at transformation. <laughs> How did you feel when you saw him, Clary? Clary. Scared at first, then exhilarated. Jack Crawford is helping your career, isn't he? Apparently, he Look, likes you and you. I wonder how she's gonna feel this fucking case, because uh, he's getting in her head and she only knew it. True, he is much older, but do you think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges, fucking you? Who? Oh. That doesn't interest me, Doctor. Frankly, it's it's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, shit! So he know he did. How do he know what he did? What happened to your drawings? Punishment, you see, for Miggs. Just like that gospel program. When you leave, they'll turn the volume way up. Dr. Chilton does enjoy his petty torment. Wow. What do you mean by transformation, Doctor? Trying to transform a transvestite is a was it a man and a woman with both genitalia? Been in this room for eight years now, Terry. I know they will never ever let me out while I'm alive. What I want is a view. I want a window where I can see a tree. I want to be in a federal institution far away from Dr. Chilton. What did you mean by fledgling killer? Are you saying that he's killed again? I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill mm -mm. based on the case evidence. Give me something, I give you something, huh? I'll help you catch him, Clary. I, I don't know. That's a lot of pull to get his ass moved. Is that even safe? You know who he is, don't you? Tell me who decapitated your patient, Doctor. I've waited, Clarice, but how long can you and old Jackie boy wait? Our little Billy must already be searching for that hmm. next special lady. The Buffalo Bill only kills women? She jamming out. What the fuck is this? Is this? He got a mask on? This can't be the killer. Or is it? The boy got night vision goggles, bro? Wow. That boy is serious about his craft. So he has a way of picking his victims. He don't just pick randos. Mind your fucking business. Mind your business. He got it. He got it, girl. He got it. He got it. I don't know. You a woman, he's a man. Can I help you with that? He got a halfway up there already. Would you? Sure. Shit. And it's nighttime too? She must not know about Buffalo Bill. I got it this far, I just can't get it up in the truck. I just got Buffalo yeah. Bill. Don't I get in that fucking truck, away. dumbass. Thank you. Thank you. She's so yeah, dumb. How did you go all the way back? She's so dumb. Gotcha! You. Are you about a size 14? Oh, wait. You done. <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> with the cast. That's all wrong. I mean, I get being courteous, being courteous, but first off, it's nighttime, and you're a woman, and then you you decide to go in there first. Fuck that. Now you're going. Being nice got your ass killed. He know the size and everything. Oh my god, dog. That's sad. That's so sad. Heading home with your girl, she's trying to be a nice person, got your ass snatched up. Oh. What? Outside, let's go. What's the problem? Sandy, in the ring for Starling. Let's go. Oh, Mustang. Hold up, they had Buicks as, as uh, police cars? 
Back to field gear. You're moving out. You're going with Prof. Oh, this is training. Girl's okay. Body down in West Virginia. Been on the water about a week. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. I don't know. Do y'all think that Hannibal Lecter can actually help her find the um, find the Buffalo Bill guy? All the mutilation you see there is post mortem. Okay, three days. Fuck. Then he shoots them, skins them. And dumps them. Wow. That's Skin they back. Rita Bimmel, the first one. Her body was the only one he took the trouble to wait down. She was the third girl found. Wow. So he's just shopping around killing people. We're killing women. What the fuck is the point? I don't understand how what like what's the psychologically, what's the point behind it? Adam Starling, tell me what you see. Oh, he's a white male. Serial killers tend to hunt within their own ethnic group. Hmm. So white kill whites, basically. Why? What he does with them takes privacy. He's in his 30s or 40s. It takes time too. Physical strength combined with an older man's self control. He's, he's cautious and he's never impulsive. He'll never stop. Why not? He's got a real taste for it now and he's getting better at his work. By reading this file. Not bad, Starling. Questions? You haven't mentioned anything about the information contained in my report or Dr. Lecter's offer, sir. Considering it. Wow. To get his help on Buffalo Bill, sir? Shit. Well, I guess to kiss Buffalo Will, they need all the help they can get, so why not use. One of the smartest serial killers. I guess the uh, the guy that's over the uh, facility, he was right to send a pretty woman in there. He used her ass, and it's working. Excuse me, Sheriff Perkins. Sheriff Perkins, Jack Crawford, FBI. Special Agent Terry, Agent Starling. We appreciate being invited to your jurisdiction. I didn't call you. That was somebody from the state attorney's office. He's still being polite, bro. Courtesy, but right now, I... Sheriff. No reason to be a dick towards him. He's just doing his job. Shit, that ain't the worst person who fucking killed him. What you can have to do with info? Only woman in the room. You smell rookie on her. Girl, stand tall. Shit. I'm trying to intimidate you. You an FBI agent. What well, potential FBI agent? They fucking local sheriffs. Make them eat that badge. Oh, I pop that bitch out quick. Oh, that's the um the cop who swallowed his tongue. That's crazy, boy. She's so damn traumatized. She shouldn't be doing this case, in my opinion, because she already weak-minded. Oscar, fetch Dr. Eagles from the chapel. Yes, sir. Starling went back here. Tell Lamar to come on when he's finished playing his music. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, gentlemen, you officers and gentlemen, listen here now. There's things we need to do for her. I know that y'all brought her this far and that her folks would thank you if they could for your for your kindness. Don't look me up and down, bitch. Oh, boy. Go on Put now. some authority behind your damn voice. Shit. Do the X. Yeah, that's right. West Virginia. Elk River. Stand by for transmission. It's finna stink. It must be from funky as hell. Uh-oh. Dr. Lamar, let's take a look at her. Let's see. They gonna show it? Yeah. So let's see what you got. They gonna show it? They gotta show it. Star-shaped contact entrance wound over the uh, sternum. I don't know if I want to see this shit now. A muzzle stamp at the top. Wrong for death. She'll have to go to the state pathologist at Claxton. Ooh. Well, I better get back to that service. Lamar will help you. I want to see now the way they acting. I got to I gotta see it. I don't want to see it, but I want to see it. Sheesh. Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's, there's dirt or grit under them. What, from fighting? It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. What if he buried her? Ray, get pictures of her teeth. We'll fax them for missing persons. Right. Damn, dog. What did she see? What that mean? She's got something in her throat. Lots of times there's like leaves and things in the mouth. How can she tell that? Can she see it? Or by the color of the tongue? Like it's big, too. What is it? A bug? A shell? What the fuck is that? That's a bug cocoon. There's no way that could get way down in there like that. So, Lamar, will you give me a hand with this? He tried to make a, a bug, um, I guess plant seeds in our body or something? What the fuck? What do you make of these? Oh, different configuration than the other victims. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I told that sheriff we shouldn't talk in front of a woman. That really burned you, didn't it? They seem, they seem so calm. God. So unbothered by this, dog. Point taken. How do you sleep at night? I have nightmares. Time calls. My move. No fair, you lured him with produce. Tough nuggies. That's the bug, is it? They playing with bugs? The what the fuck? Your man, does that still count? Of course it counts. How do you play? That's strange. Agent Starling? Or they all look strange. It was found behind the soft pallet of a murder victim. The body was in the Elk River in West Virginia. It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? I'm afraid I can't tell you anymore, but... Hmm. We heard about it on the radio. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Say cool. If you saw the damn body, you wouldn't be seeing this shit. Is there a Tomia, maybe? Boys, 
Big sucker. He look creepy to me, bro. What do you do when you're not detecting, Agent Starling? Then your fucking business. Try to be a student, Dr. Pilcher. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? <laughs> the amusing house wine? Are you hitting on me, Doc? You know it. Yes. Gotcha. What do you got, Rudin? Agent Starling? What is it? Meet Mr. Acarantia Styx. What is that? Better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Death Head Moth? Only live in Asia. Asia? Got him honey and nightshade, kept him warm. Somebody loved him. What? They creepy. Somebody loved this, this bug. Who him personally raised him himself. Hand fed. I didn't know that. They right. If this is him, he sure got a handful of bugs. Yep, that's him. And he record this shit too. Oh my goodness! Another victim. Wow, dog. Got her ass. He's so he's storing his victims. Mm-mm. Catherine Martin, the 25-year-old daughter of Senator Ruth Martin, listed first as a missing person, is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer in Buffalo Bill. That's um god dang, what's his name? Um Gordon, I think? And while our kidnapping is not at this point considered to be politically motivated, nevertheless, huh. it has stirred the government to its highest levels. I bet it has. And that's the thing, though. You, you ain't even got the dude in custody. Catherine is very gentle and kind. Talk to her and you'll see. You are in charge. Hold up. So that's the way he captured. Love and compassion. Okay. You I thought that was a victim from prior to To show the whole world that you can be merciful as well as strong. That you're big enough. To treat Catherine better than the world has treated you. And I promise you. He sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. Mm. It's harder to tear her up. Gotcha. So keep saying the name. He would, he would, was like a guilt trip or something like that? I told you this is just a routine follow up on the rest of He is my patient. I have rights. I understand that. Sir. Dude, what the fuck you want? We gotta solve a case. I think you discussed this with him. I think it's in that money. Job. You understand? That's a fucking science project, bro. We gotta save lives. Helps us catch Buffalo Bill in time to save Catherine Martin. Oh, he get the, he get, not released, but they finna transfer him. You have reasonable access to books. Best of all, though. One week of the year, you get to leave the hospital. What the fuck? Plum Island. Every day of that week, you may walk on the beach. You may swim in the ocean. Wow. SWAT team surveillance, of course. And there you have it. <laughs> You got more than what you're walking for, that, bro. They want this Buffalo Bill Buffalo guy. Buffalo Bill case file. I wonder if it's because of the daughter. It's the senator's daughter, so they really want his help now. Non-negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Yep, that's why. That's why, because of who he captured. What? Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center. Sounds charming. That's only part of the island. There's very, very nice beach. Dude, you're in a fucking maximum security facility in the block seal. If I help you, Clarice, it will be turns with us, too. Not about this case, though. Nope. Not yet, sir. Nope. Quit pro quo. Nope. Yes or no. Uh-uh. Oh, wait. Yes or no, Clarice. Poor little Catherine is waiting. Oh, wait. You get what you want, but I want more. What is your worst memory of childhood? You crazy as fuck, girl. Fuck this job. Death of my father. Fuck this job. Tell me about it and don't lie, or I'll know. He was a town marshal. Was he killed outright? No, he was very strong. He lasted more than a month. Dude, look, he's a psychiatrist. He's using his knowledge to get in her fucking head. But she gonna mess around and swallow her damn tongue I think too. it would be quite something to know in private life. Quid pro quo, Doc. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Was she fat, huh? Yes. Big through the hips, Romy? They all were. What else? She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Butterfly. Yeah, what's the point of that? What does that symbolize? A moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. The what significance of the moth is chain. Caterpillar into chrysalis or pupa from thence into beauty. The beauty. Our belly wants to change too. There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Have a go. So close to the way you're going to catch him. Do you realize that? No. Tell me why. <laughs> After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? Look, 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 look. It's going back personal. I don't imagine the answer is on those secondary shoes, Clarice. <laughs> I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband. How is he her psychiatrist now? He probably, she probably be getting in his head, he getting in her head. How long did you live there? Two months. Why so briefly? I ran away. Why, Clarice? Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? No. He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. It's Lily is not a real transsexual. So it's question for a question. Try to be a lot of things, I expect. And you said that I was very close to the way we would catch him. What did you mean, Doctor? 
There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment at one or all of them and wow. been rejected. Try to get the sex change. You know what sucks about him, boy, is that he won't give you information unless you give him information. And you can't lie because he know when you're lying. He hates his own identity and he thinks that makes him a transsexual. What? It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. My family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. He don't care about money. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Look, it got a pretty little doll too. Crazy fucker. Okay, okay. Oh my god, he prepping her ass. You let me go, I won't. I won't press charges, I promise. <laughs> girl, I shut up. He don't care about none of that shit. Now he places the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I want to see my mommy. Stop pleading, girl. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> he gonna get some ass, piss him off. He gonna kill your ass sooner. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I'm here. Girl, that means you don't stand a chance of leaving. You ain't the first person who pleaded with him. on some beach and see the birdies? No, I don't think so. I called Senator Ruth Martin. She never heard of any deal with you. They scammed you, Hannibal. What is his deal with Hannibal Lecter? He really amuses by him. That's right. amused by him. Is amused by him. His prized possession, huh? There never was a deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. Smash. So he can't do shit. Answer me, Hannibal. You answer me now, or by God, you'll never leave this cell. Who is Buffalo Bill? First name is Lewis. Hmm. I've told the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. And I have a few conditions of my own. What's that? Clean him up and get him ready to go. Jack. He hate to see his ass leave, huh? He gets some kind of rise out of him being there. He makes some sort of phony offer to Lecter in the senator's name. Oh, shit! Paul Krenler's over here from Justice. She's asking him to take over in Memphis. Oh, crap! That was a fake deal! That makes sense, though, to to walk on the beach and shit. So... The issue with that is that now that he knows it is a lie, he won't trust her anymore, and their relationship is now tarnished. Welcome to Memphis, Dr. Lecter. I'm Lieutenant Boyle. This is Sergeant Patrick. Be a gentleman, you're gonna get three hots to cut. The sign right here will have us a legal transfer. He can the kick out of this power trip. Oh shit. Here, sir, use mine. What a pen! He got the pen? How the f ain't no way. He was shot up the whole entire time. Oh shit. That's dumb. This is dumb. You gonna let his crazy ass get next to the senator or get, I'm sorry, get near to the senator? Oh, okay. You can't make him talk. He already inhaled. So you threaten to kill him? Senator Martin, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Dr. Lecter, I brought an affidavit guaranteeing your new rights. You want to read it before I sign. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. Hmm. Clarice Starling and that awful Jack Crawford have wasted far too much time already. I only pray they haven't doomed the poor girl. Mm -mm. Let me help you now and I will trust you when it is all over. You have my word, Paul. They should have told him the damn deal was fake. I met him just once. He was referred to me in April or May 1980 by my patient Benjamin Rash. You know what's messed up is that because of who it is, she can all this fucking Rash extra help. had become very frightened. Apparently, Lewis had murdered a transient and done things with the skin. We need his address and a physical description. Hmm. Tell me, Senator, did you nurse Catherine yourself? What? Did you breastfeed her? No, Crazy question. Minute. Yes, I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? What? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Tell me, Mom, when your little girl is on the slab, oh my will God. it tickle you? Oh, my God. Take this thing back to Baltimore. Look, you know who you're talking to? Five for ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds, hair blonde, eyes pale blue. Oh. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. That's all I can remember, Mom. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. Look, are you still oh, Senator, him? just one more thing. Love your suit. <laughs> How do you think, sir? Well, it's only through my own unique insight into Lecter's... Look, he love this shit. He's smiling like hell, boy. It's like a star. My name is Dr. Frederick Chilton. How do you Don't give a fuck about who you are, bro. We're talking about the case. Are you a Dr. Chilton's group? Well, I just saw him outside, sir. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. I understand, sir. Well, I can't take all the credit for myself. Back your ass the fuck up, bro. And now for the hard part. Apprehending the suspect. Excuse me, folks, I'm gonna have to catch a flight. <laughs> Look, she doing all the hard work. She the one getting real personal with him. Boy, I fear for her. 
Is it true what they're saying? Some kind of vampire? They don't have a name for what it is. That boy is like, is this a hit town or something? The way he talk. Go ahead. What is that? Oh. But the, I don't know if he's going to trust her. Because she lied to him. Now the trust is broken. Let's see. Good evening, Clary. Is this the library, I guess? Or the place? I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. Just until you get your view. Oh, very thoughtful. Oh, okay. She didn't lie. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before you're both booted off the case? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. Hmm. <laughs> Anthrax Island. That was an especially nice touch, Clarice. Yours? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so that was like a little sprinkle. That was good. Me. Pity about poor Catherine, though. Tick tock, tick tock. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Lewis' friend. <sighs> Iron sulfide, also known as. As fool's gold. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. <laughs> you were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Please continue now. Well, I've read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. And tell me how. They First gave... principles, They Clarice. gave him the case files? Simplicity. Read Marcus Aurelius. Of each particular thing, ask, what is it in itself? What is its nature? What does he do, this man you seek? He kills women. No, that is incidental. Hmm? What is the first and principal thing he does? What needs does he serve? I don't know. Killing? Anger. Um. He got a he got a he got a kick out of that shit for sure. He loved uh, to do it. Sexual frustration. Right? No. He covets. That is his nature. Cuffs. And how do we begin to covet, Clarice? Do we seek out things to covet? No. No. We begin by coveting what we see every day. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clarice? And don't mm. your eyes seek out the things you want? Okay. Right, yes. Now please tell me how. No. Work. It's your turn to tell me, Clarice. Uh oh. You don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? Oh shit. More personal information. We don't have any more time for any of this now. But we Make don't time. have some time the same way, do we, Clarice? This is all the time you'll ever have. What are you doing? Later. Now please listen to me. We've only got five. No. I will listen now. So you're on my time. You need my help. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. You were 10 years old. You went to live with cousins on a sheep and horse ranch in Montana, and... And one morning, I just ran away. Not just, Clary. What set you off? You started at what time? Early. Still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? What is he doing? He worked out the show. Noise. But why? What was it? It was... Oh, shit. Screaming. Some kind of screaming. Like a child's voice. What did you do? I went... Lie. Downstairs. I just lied. Fuck it. See if you can tell. I crept up into the barn. I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? <laughs> what did you see, Clarice? What did you say? Lamb. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. And they were screaming. Baby you lambs? You ran away? No. First I tried to free them. I, I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They just stood there, confused. They wouldn't run. But you could, and you did, didn't you? So you ran for the lambs? Yes. I took one lamb, and I ran away as fast as I could. Where were you going, Clary? I don't know. I didn't have any food, any water, and it was very cold. Very cold. Did you eat the lamb? I thought, I thought if I could save just one, but he was so heavy. I'm sure, so like, heavy. I was thinking that. How the fuck you wrong with a damn lamb? And you a kid. I didn't get more than a few miles when the sheriff's car picked me up. The rancher was so angry, he sent me to live at the Lutheran Orphanage and Postman. I never saw the rancher again. What became of your lamb, Clary? It died. They chopped him the up. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? Think about the lamb. Wake up in the dark to hear the screaming of the lamb. Yes. Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lamb? I don't know. He got you, girl. That's why you need his help. Thank you, Clary. You want me to help save your sanity? What? He can kick out of this shit. Dr. Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Who? Okay. Time's up. Go. It's your turn, Doctor. He let us power trip shit. We work in the case, stupid fuck. You would think he would want help to help say the case. Say the girl, I mean. Well, let me know when those lambs stop screaming. Tell me his name, Doctor. Therese. Your case file. Uh oh! Bye, Therese. That boy mind fucked her boy with a little, little touch. You need me, I'm here for you. I'm the only person who can cure you. I don't understand the guy um, who's over the, uh, who's over Hannibal Lecter. I'm like, why won't he let the FBI come in and do their thing? Well, she's stuck in time. Oh, shit, he drawing her now. Saving the lambs, huh? 
Is that a is that a real silverware? Ready when you are, Doc. Just another minute, please. Son of a bitch demanded a second dinner. Lamb chops, extra rare. And what he wants wow. for breakfast. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? From the case files? Oh crap. Cause I guess the case files had a um a piece of like metal or something to hold it to close. And he took that from it. Oh good evening, gentlemen. Okay, Doc. Grab some floor. Same drill as before, please. Mm-hmm. Oh, weak. Are you when you are, Sergeant Pembry? Open your hands. Fuck that. Hands wide open. Let me see your palms. Okay. Ain't no way he finna break loose. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go back and watch his hands. Mind the drawings, please. Thank you. Mind your business. Get the fuck out of there. Mm -mm. If he get loose, oh, we. I know the first person he gonna kill is that goddamn gonna, um, the person who's over him. Shit! Jimmy, watch it, he's got it. Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh! What the fuck? Yeah. You can't do a damn thing! Make sure you with your own fucking mace. And you can't do a fucking thing. Bing! He watching it, two eyes wide open, like he enjoying this shit. He's still there. I would have assumed he'd have ran out immediately. That boy look pale as fuck. I play dead. I'm dead, boy. Mm, mm, mm. What is that? A knife. Ready when you are, Sergeant Pembry. Ooh we beat that boy to death. What is this shit? Did somebody go up on five? Ain't no way. No. Nobody went up. Call Pembry, ask him to tell him. This thing on places full of cops. CP, shots fired on five, repeat. Shots fired on five. Sergeant Tate! Holy it's coming back down. Shit. What the hell? Bitch. Bobby, get the vest. Right, Sarge. Run and get the vest. Brady, Howard, cover the Look! What is he doing? It's Stopped out. on three. Seal off a 10 block radius. Give me the SWAT team and an ambulance double quick. We're going up. Wow, boy. That boy sweating! <laughs> Mass murder. Mass murder of cannibal that's gotten loose. And this place is huge too. Embry! Oh! Mm. What the hell is this? Oh god. Shit! God dang! He cut his ass open. How the fuck he get him up there? Lecter's gone, Sarge. Wow. Sarge's missing. So Buffalo Bill and Hannibal Lecter. Where the fuck is my ambulance? They gone, bro. He's alive. Sergeant Tate, he's alive. Get a hold of him. Probably. Now hands, huh? Now it's intentionally too. He left his ass alive on purpose. Pembry, can you hear me? He took Boyle's gun. Pembry got off one round. There's a chance Lecter was hit. Keep breathing in and out. That's it. You're doing a good job. Oh, you, you look real good there. What if? What if? That is Hannibal Lecter. But then again. The face. Shit. I'm like, how the fuck he gonna leave out, bro? There's no way out of this place. Unless they carry him out. Looking good, Pepper. You're gonna make it. Hold up, though. That's the guy's face. What's going on here? Some, some ain't right here. Something is not right. I'm on the elevator bringing Pembry down. He seems to be hanging on. Top three floor secured. Main stairwell secured. Think. Then shit, what the fuck is going on here? Is he dripping blood? What is smart ass? Uh, we're pretty sure it's somewhere on two, sir. That's all for now. Stop the elevator, dude! What the fuck is at the top? It's on the roof of the elevator. You think? Okay, guys. He too damn smart for this. This is too easy. This is too easy. No. There's a gun by his hand. He's not moving. One warning. Ain't no we need him alive. Way. That's not him. Lecter, put your hands on your head. He ain't moving, dog. One of the leg. Yeah, bro. Ain't no fucking way. That's not him. No movement. Nope, that's not him. He got shot in the back of the leg, bro. Everybody finna just sit there and take that shit. Watch his hands. If there's any fire, it'll come from us. Drop straight down. Memphis General, this is Medical Unit 26. We're in What's going on here? Weapon unknown. We've got grand mal seizure activity, but 
severe first facial lacerations. That's fucking Hannibal Lecter. He yeah, took his right. face no, yeah, and put his face yeah, on yeah, him. On Get the fuck out of here. Wow. They found the ambulance in a parking garage at Memphis Airport. He cut his he face dead. off. Mm, mm, got his mm. clothes, cash. By now he could be anywhere. He won't come after me. Oh, really? Why is that? I he can't explain you? it. He, he, he would he consider connected? that rude. It's over. She's dead. It's not your fault it worked out like this. The thing is that Lecter said everything we need to catch him with is right here on these pages. Only I can't. Dr. Lecter said a lot of things. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but fucking is sewing his skin. You got two crazy fuckers out here loose. And the only person who knows how to catch him is a, is a cannibal. Is this Lecter's handwriting? Clarice, doesn't this random scattering of sight seem desperately random? Like the elaboration of a bad liar, Ty Hannibal Lecter. Desperately random? What does he mean? Not random at all, maybe. Like there's some pattern here. Yeah, but there is no pattern or the computers would have nailed it. Or even found in random order. Random because of the one girl. What random? The one he weighed it down. Um, Frederica Vimmel. About the girl uh, that uh, they found last time with the Belvedere, thing in their mouth? Ohio. First girl taken, third body found. Why? Well, she didn't drift. He weighted her down. What did Lecter say about the first principles? Simplicity. What does this guy do? He covets. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see every day. Okay. Oh, damn, Clarice. He knew her. Who knew her? The killer or Hannibal Lecter? I would not feel safe alone, I tell you that. Knowing Hannibal Lecter's loose? Uh -huh. He know what would be crazy and what blows my mind is that when serial killers live in a fucking neighborhood and don't nobody know nothing. But how do you know that this person is right next to you killing bodies and eating them and shit and you don't even find out nothing until later on? Mr. Bimmel? That's me. Oh, I'm Clarice Starling. I'm with the FBI. I sure appreciate you letting me take a look around, Mr. Bimmel. I don't know nothing new to tell you. Mm -hmm. We've been back here so many times already. Was that Rika That was her daughter. Her that was his daughter. Job. She left the interview okay. She never come home. Her bedroom is how she left it. Upstairs, door to the left. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. I cannot imagine that being a dead dog and knowing your kid is probably dead and the killer is still loose. Hmm. So he say that he knows his victims, so he's close. What does that mean? The top look, I feel like the top look kind of messed up. Hidden pictures. You know what's crazy is that he said that cops been, been in her room several times. Nobody found this. What the fuck? Who took those pictures? Coach got that gun ready. Have that gun on hand. Load it. Okay, this is all connected. I assume that's her daddy though. So he, he wouldn't be associated with this shit. At least I hope not. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. And he, and he can sew, this guy. He's, he's very skilled. He's a tailor oh my God. or a dressmaker. Or, that's why they're all so big. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while so that he can loosen Starling. their skin and take... Starling, oh Starling, Starling, you know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. Where? Calumet City, edge of Chicago. How do you find him? That's great news, sir, but how... Johns Hopkins came up with some names. The subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. Lecture's description was accurate. He just lied about the name. Listen to this. Customs had some paper on him. They stopped a carton two years ago at LAX. Live caterpillars from Suriname. The addressee was a Jame Gum. So, let the gave details just... Remove the few little small insignificant ones. I need you to link him to the Bimmel girl before he's indicted. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. Yes, sir. You bet. I'll do my best. Starling. Be careful. We wouldn't have found him without you. Fuck that. Be careful. Thank you very much, Mr. Crawford. Mr. Crawford. What about Hannibal Lecter? Because, yeah, right, you find Buffalo Bill, but what about the what about the other main serial killer who's smart as fuck? Thanks for the scraps, asshole. I got a better idea. What's she doing? He making a woman's dress out of human skin. That's sick. Okay, precious time for a little treat. Ugh. 
Don't snitch an ass dog, but not say shit. Wow. Precious. Come on, girl. He go capture the damn dog. That's a damn good bargain, and Chip, you love your dog. Let me go. I let the dog go. I stab this motherfucker up. Oh, kinky nasty ass. Is that a person or is that him? Are you up there, you little shit? <laughs> little shit. So he want to be a woman? Precious, please come. Come on. Be patient, girl. <gasps> She's so exhausted, she can't even whistle. Gotcha. Pull that shit. Woo! I'll pull that damn dog down. Right. Gotcha. Come on. Come on. What if it's not strong enough? Tug of war. So. What is he saying? Fuck me so hard. It still got the damn bone. <laughs> I admire her fight though. She ain't just give up. <laughs> she should have hit the damn dog with the bucket. Right. Put that muffle right there. She probably drained though because she ain't been eating. What the hell? What the fuck? So. Is that a dude without a without a penis or what? Was he just tucked? Is that a good job, FBI agent? You get to travel around and stuff. Sometimes you do. Hmm. Freddie was so happy for me when I got this job at the bank. Stacy, did Frederica ever mention a man named uh, Jamie Gum? No. Oh, would she have had a friend that you didn't know about? Or? No way. She had a guy I'd have known. Believe me, sewing was her life. Oh. Uh. Did you two ever work together? Or? Oh, sure. Me and Pam Malavese wow, used to I'll help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. That's disgusting, bro. He gonna eat it? What are you gonna do? Put the head clean off. So powerful. So beautiful. They got his ass? Okay, what's going on? What's going on here? Did she get the damn dog? Down here, you sad Got you, shit. bitch! Got you! Let me go. I'll let your damn dog watch. Stab this motherfucker up. Turn that bucket. Now you get me Fuck no. on a lark down here now. The poorly food specials. She's in a lot of pain, mister. She needs a bed. So, hold up. Did she poison a bone or something or what? Hey, don't you hurt my dog. He sit here pleading for his dog life. Why he cut up women and take their fucking skin? We all get your ass on somewhere. I'm gonna skin this damn dog. We him begging and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the push says out. You got it, girl. Just stay. Oh shit, you got a gun. Oh shit, damn, damn. Three fifty-seven too. Shit. Oh, this weird going crazy now, dog. They found your punk ass. That boy house is a mess. Why well, ain't surprised? Going in. Here we go. Here we go. Oh fuck! I'm looking for Mrs. Lipman's family. Oh my god, the wrong fucking house. No, well, Lipman's don't live here anymore. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I really need to speak with you. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. Mm, wrong address. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Yep. Your name is? Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Well, Frederica used to work for Mrs. Lipman. Did you know her? This is police work here, boy. No, uh -uh. Oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. Yeah, I, I miss. No, I, I read about her in the newspaper. Look, look, look. Gotcha. You know this is him, girl. The way he answered, he too nervous. Hope she don't be dumb. Hope she keep her damn guard up. Are you close to catching somebody, you think? Yes. He asked her real quick, ah, real curious questions. Did you take over this place after Mrs. Lippman died? Is that right? Yeah, I bought this house uh, two years ago. Did she leave any records? Any? Come on, girl. Use your fucking senses. Look, but that a damn bug with a the moth. There's the moth. Pull that bitch out. Fuck that. Stop waiting. Pull it out. Here's that number. Very good, Mr. Gordon. May I use your phone, please? Come on, girl. What you waiting on? Freeze! Bust his ass down. Bust him down. Bridge you got the hands up. Come on, girl. Come on now. Put your hands in the back. He finna run. Come on, girl. He got that, that hitter, too. Oh, shit. Oh, wee. And you don't know this house. Let's see if she gonna check corners like he's supposed to. Remember your damn training, girl. Remember your fucking training. Check your corners. Check your corners! Come on now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on edge. Check your damn corners, dog. Alright, girl. Check behind the door. Your blind spots. 
She missed one door. He could have been behind that fucking door. You should have pushed that bitch open. So if it was, if he was behind the damn door, you got him. For sure. Oh my goodness. Come on now, pay attention. Oh my gosh. All these damn doors, too. You got training, he don't. Don't look yet. She ain't going nowhere. Not yet. You ain't safe, girl. Don't say that shit just yet. You ain't quit the dang go house. You're all right, Captain. Now, where is he? I'm damn her shit. <laughs> you up there? Good. Don't worry about her. Shit. She down there by herself. I gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. No, you gotta say your fucking self first. Don't leave me here, you fucking bitch. So now I'm gonna take my damn time getting your ass out of her after I catch him. Okay. I'm gonna be on the same damn team. I'm trying to save you. All right, girl. This is his prized possession. With one of them, his bugs. Look, focus, stay focused. It's so damn dark in there. You can't see nothing. Oh wait, what? What the heck? Oh my gosh. He cut the power. Oh wait. Oh wait, he just went south now. Now he's trying with her. Cause he can kill her right now. Clean shot. I just thought blessing, fuck it. But you only got a few bullets, so you can't just start shooting. Oh my goodness. He enjoying this. He better look at him. Fucking creep. Oh my goodness. You can't feel him right in front of you? Oh shit. You gonna hear that cop though? You finna hear that? You heard that? You heard that though? Good shoot, girl. Good shooting! Choke on your blood, bitch! Look, she had just a split second. A split second, boy. Once she cocked that bad boy, I said, oh, he, she gonna hear that shit. Oh, look in his eyes. Oh, boy, boy. Gun his ass down. Fuck that dog. Oh, punk ass. Probably traumatized. Clarice M. Starling. Congratulations. Official FBI agent. Yeah, this is right here. This set her correctly. I said, set her correctly. Set her career right here. He picked the right agent, bro. Damn, that cake look good. Special Agent Starling. Special Agent Man. Starling? Killed you. Did you that take boy, a picture? That boy infatuated by her. Oh, cock out itself. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. He opened the door up and gave the opportunity. Father would have been proud today. That's what's up. Starling. Wow, Clarice. Have the lamb stopped screaming? Oh, my God. Dr. Lecter. Don't bother with the trace. I won't be on long enough. Where are you, Doctor? Wow! I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The world's Shit. more interesting with you in it. So you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. You know I can't make that promise. Fuck no! You had a elector! I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh, shit! Bye. He telling you he finna have his next kill. He finna go feast. Dr. Well, Doctor. there goes a damn celebration. Oh, Yo, punk ass! That boy's scared as shit! <laughs> And he should be. Look, he in a different country and he still found your ass. Yo, this nigga ate up on vacation. That's crazy, dog. Wow, bruh. So the main person in the movie, Dr. Hannibal Lecter, is fucking free. So I assume that there is a part two. I guess you can say Hannibal Lecter helped her solve this damn case. But it seemed like it was an exchange for an exchange because they called one crazy murderer, but then a crazy, smart, intelligent cannibal got loose. What the fuck do you do now? Because you have no idea where he's at. What fascinated me was that even though he was locked up in the bottom of the fucking building with brick walls, he somehow still knew what was going on in the outside world. And two, this guy, the person who was over the facility, why was he so, so infatuated? With Hannibal Lecter. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Put in the comments, in the comments below, if you guys want me to check out Hannibal Lecter number two, man. Check out my Patreon, and I'll catch you guys next time.